Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how you can install and play Pokemon Vandy version and any other 3DS hack that comes out after this, including Vandy version Deluxe, which is coming out next year, and hopefully Alpha Sapphire Extreme coming out this year, but no promises on either of those. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head to our Discord, which you can find, link in the description, uh, but I assume you're already in it if you're finding this video. Um, head to the Discord, and in the download section there's a a channel called Vandy version. Uh, you can click on that, go to the link on that message, so the bit.ly link. I promise it is a bit.ly link but it's perfectly safe, it's perfectly fine. Uh, download that, I already have it downloaded so I'm not going to do that now, but once it's downloaded I'm just going to put it on my desktop for East and then once it's wherever you want it you can just extract it, just click extract or in whatever tool you use for extracting RAS, zips, 7, zip, whatever, and wait for that to complete. Okay, and once it's done, you can double click on this, and then here you'll see a folder called 0004 a load of more zeros 11C400. This is basically just the folder that tells whatever you're using that the game is for Omega Ruby. And then inside that you've got all the actual mods and stuff. So, once you're in here, this is where it changes whether you're using Citra or whether you're using an actual 3DS. So if you're using an actual 3DS, you'll need custom firmware, uh, which I'll leave a link in the description so you can get custom firmware. And you'll need to enable game patching on in the Luma settings, which you can do by holding select when you boot up your 3DS and just going down with the D-pad, clicking A on the enable game patching, and then click start to reboot. And then once you boot up Omega Ruby, it'll load up. Uh, but for now, we'll stick with Citra. Uh, so in Citra, if you open it up, you, you need an Omega Ruby ROM of your own. We're not supplying ROMs at all. You need to find one yourself, uh, you, and the only legal way of doing that is to dump it from your own modded 3DS. And there's plenty of tutorials online, even on the official Citra website, of how to do that. So don't ask for ROMs. We don't give out ROMs. Uh, it's illegal. So if you right click on here, and then click open mods location. I already have the mods here, but basically all you do is you double click on this one and then just highlight both EXEFS and ROMFS and just drag it over and into the uh, 0004.11c400 folder. And once they're dragged in, you can just boot up your Omega Ruby game and it'll be Vandy version. And then for Luma, Luma 3DS, for 3DS, actual 3DS custom firmware, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much the same process. So, except with Luma, you have to go into your 3DS SD card, which you first need to put into your PC or use some sort of file transfer method. And then you go into your Luma folder, <coughs> go into titles, and then title ID, so 004011C400. And then you can just highlight them both and drag them in, and then you're you're all good to go. And that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, just make sure if you're using Luma, just make sure you have game patching enabled, otherwise it won't work. Um, and if you're using Citra, you you should be pretty much good to go. Uh, make sure when you download it, make sure you read the notes. Um, only re-randomize the game at your own risk. The game is not supported by the Universal Pokemon Randomizer, so you can only use PK3DS. In this tutorial, I'm not going to explain how to use PK3DS to re-randomize, because it's a whole process and I don't feel like explaining it, but um, there is plenty of tutorials of how to randomize using PK3DS as a base game. Uh, but yeah, that's all for the Vandy version tutorial. This goes for pretty much any other 3DS hack that we do in the future. Uh, basically just dragging and dropping files. It, it couldn't be simpler really, and hopefully this explanation helps you. Thank you for watching.